All right, so you overcommitted yourself, you bought your first fix and flip, and you just cannot finish it, right? You Maybe you made it 30% of the way here. Uh, you ran out of time, you ran out of money, your contractors aren't calling you back, welcome to my world. Um, either way, you, you have an unfinished house and you need to sell it. So you're looking for the best tips and tricks. How do I do this? It's not finished, so you're not gonna get your full market value, but how do you go about selling an unfinished house? And you see this a lot sometimes on the MLS properties that are just um, maybe like uh, framed out with utilities and the person stopped and they're getting ready to sell it. Raises a big question mark in your head, right? Like, why did they stop? Did they run into a big issue? Did they run out of money? Um, is there some kind of major expense that they're trying to avoid, right? So if you have a house that's unfinished and you wanna sell it and get out of it for whatever reason, I'm gonna give you a little cheat code here on how to get that done uh, quickly and easily so that you don't have to keep tying up your money, you don't have to keep paying interest and taxes and insurance and all this other stuff and the repairs to, to keep it um, progress moving forward, right? So what is this cheat code? Well, it's actually quite simple, right? And no one's really giving you this kind of advice, but I'm gonna be truthful with you. The first is you don't want to list it on the MLS. I can't tell you how much of a problem that is. The reason you list your house on the MLS is if you want to get full market value for it, if it's finished. And the most of the buyers on the MLS are taking out a loan to purchase homes. That's not really possible on an unfinished house. It's not going to qualify for financing with a lender. Um, so you definitely want to avoid doing that because you're going to be wasting your time, your agent's time, and it's not going to sell. You're going to have to keep dropping the price and then you set a precedence for how much it's worth. And it's a one big headache. So do not list it on the MLS with pictures of, you know, studded out walls and a description of what you finished, right? And some pe sometimes people put like what they're going to finish before closing or what they're going to keep working on. We'll, we'll finish the bathroom. We'll finish the tile. Which brings me to my next point, which is come to the stopping point. Stop working on it. If you've decided that you're not gonna finish this house, you need to stop putting money into it, you need to stop putting your time into it, and you have to find a buyer for it quickly so that they can put their hands on it and invest in it and get it into a finished state. I see so often that people say, well, we'll keep doing this or we'll get it to this point, right? Just just stop where you are, come to a reasonable point, clean it up, um, You know, make sure it's you have all the details, if you have drawings, if you have architect drawings, bring those in, if you have blueprints, Get everything together and just come to that stopping point and stop pouring money into it. And the last tip is here is, you know, why did you stop? Can you finish it? Can you hire somebody to finish it? The best return on your money is bringing it all the way to the finished value. So if there is an option for you to partner with somebody to take on a new investor, I would really encourage you to think about how to, how to finish it, right? Because if you can, you're going to be in a tricky situation. You don't want to sell it where all the other properties sell because it's not going to work. It's going to create too much of a headache, like I said. Um, and if you're out of all these options and you don't, you can't, you know, this cheat code doesn't work for you, call us up. Uh, we're cash buyers. So we'll come in and we'll buy the house for cash. We won't need a loan, so that won't be a problem. We don't care where you stopped with it. Um, we can pick it up at any point and we can finish the project for you and you won't have to come out of pocket any further. Um, so if you're looking for some tips here, I hope this was helpful. If you're trying to sell a house that's unfinished, if you're working on a flip and you just stopped or you have too many things going on, um, this is, these are some great things to think about.